Uh, hey everyone, uh, good to see you again. Um, going from crazy to sane when we have um, when we've dealt with a narcissist or narcissists plural narcs. When we initially become involved with a narcissist, we obviously don't think that it's going to get as crazy and distorted as it gets. It takes time for that to happen. It takes time for it to have an effect on us as well. Time enough to screw up your navigation system so that you don't know what's true or what's not true, especially if it's someone that's really close to you, which is most of the time. Whether it's a sibling or a parent or a spouse or even a kid, uh, your kid, uh, when you are, or and especially if you're around a circle of these people who all behave this way, it can really throw off your sense of reality because they're not living in reality. We know that. So we know that it's been crazy, and then we wake up to a different kind of crazy to when we find out that we're not the problem, that these people are are behaving in these these ways, these manipulative ways. These uh, they use they use lying. Uh, gaslighting, tell you that they weren't lying, you didn't see what you saw. Um, the uh, uh, gaslighting, smear campaigns, there are other ways that they, that they use to throw us off of their behavior. The, that second kind of crazy is when you know that that's what they're doing and you can't convince them to go ahead and fess up that you know that that's what they're doing. You know that you're standing there, you know that they're lying to you, and they're just lying straight to your face, even when confronted with evidence. And that can be ex extremely frustrating. Um, that is a kind of crazy that I don't, I don't know if there's any other really war, I don't think that there's anything that really compares to that when you know that someone's pulling one over on you and you, you, you tell them and you confront them with it and they continue to um, continue to um, to behave the way they do and tell you you don't know what you're talking about so that is a um, that is a frustrating thing um, we have both excuse me the narcissist and the victim have both participated and this is not victim blaming but we need to understand how this happened the narcissist and the victim have both been in living in a uh, in in unreality uh, or alternate reality if you wish uh, the um, in this non-real world uh, this deception the difference between the narcissist and us or the narcs and the victims is that the narcissist doesn't want to wake up out of this because it works for them. It works for their, their ego, their, their self-centered behavior so that they can get what they want. Those of us who don't participate in that you know, or want to participate in that, that, um, uh, in that unreality uh, have the, the chance to move out of that reality. And that's why it's so painful is because we've let all these things happen and um, We've let all these things happen, and now we're, we're left with the effects from the cause and effect. Um, so the narcissist, it works for them. They don't want to wake up out of them. There's enough victims out there that they can continue to run through people probably their entire lives, and they'll never wake up. They'll always be narcissists, and they'll always live in their own pathetic little universe. If you're reeling through pain the way I've had to and the way a lot of us have to, you understand that... Um, you understand that, that, or you need to understand that there's going to be an end, there's an expiration date to the effects of the cause in this, in the material, in, in reality. Uh, whether it's business dealings or whether you had kids with a narcissist, there's going to be a time when you don't have to, hopefully you can be no contact now, but, you know, if you can't and you have to have limited contact or there's, like I said, the effects, there's going to be a time when, when those, those come to an end and you can begin again. And it's going to be in different levels and different spots for everybody. Uh, even if you were 100 years old and you woke up to a narcissist and you only had 10 minutes to live, it's still worth being clear that last 10 minutes. It's never too late to move past this. It's never, ever too late. I thought it was too late. 
I thought my life was over. And then when I started figuring out what was happening and on the other side, where I believe that I'm mostly, mostly clear and, and free of the consequences of dealing with them, it's it's like a whole new world. It's a it's a whole it is a whole new world. It's like when you're this is the same the same part when you get to sanity when yourself becomes uh, when yourself is is in line with the um, in line in line with reality. You have a a whole new sense of possibilities and things can be. Uh, you can make goals, and you can achieve these goals, and you can um, you can live life on life's terms. Uh, and that's what it's like getting away from the narcissist crazy to the different kind of crazy. I like to it's I, I liken it to something like like when you're actually actually my garage is pretty clean, but if you see like someone who has a garage just full of stuff, and that's the insanity, and then you like the hoarders or whatever, and then or they, there you go, the hoarders, the the show, and then you have to go in and clean all this out. That's like a different kind of level of insanity because you have to, it's all in disarray, it's all out in the yard. But then when it's finally put together, then you have a clean house and you can live life on life's terms. So anyway, uh, that was that's what it's like going from crazy to a different kind of crazy to sanity when you're dealing with a narcissist and then when you can finally go no contact and uh, and you can live uh, life as it was meant to be. So anyway, I hope that helps someone. It's good to see you all again and I hope to see you again real soon. Thanks.